All right, guys, it's Ozzy Grimm with the Gamers Grimm. I'm on the moon of Kurtz today because I'm going to do my first ever pirate themed ship build. I've been wanting to do a pirate themed ship for a while now. Uh, so here we go. This is what I call the Scorpion Stalker. It's an interesting pirate ship, lots of EMP weapons, shielded cargo, and themed after a scorpion. This was a lot of fun to build. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe the video if you want to see more content like this. Um, but we're going to do a quick fly around so you guys can see the profiles of the ship here on Kurtz. So this will be a Class C ship. It comes equipped with quite a bit of shielded cargo, as well as a lot more cargo to go with it. But uh, I designed it sort of themed around the idea of having a pirate crew and boarding other ships after you uh, take them down in space. So let's go on a quick tour of the inside. Captain, hello. Normally I go with ladderless designs, but I couldn't quite go completely ladderless with this with this build because of the cockpit, but we have a cargo hall here. And then over here I've got some computer stations and some more cargo space for all your for all your stolen goods, of course, and to up your crew count. And of course, we've got some bare bones living space for the pirates but this is kind of what i did over here is i had an armory that passes through just before you get to the docking port for when your boarding party is getting ready to board a ship that you've taken down they can arm themselves and get ready to board the ship and take hostages and take their loot so let's run out here and Go up into the pilot house and we'll take off. The Scorpion Stalker. <clears throat> Orbital pattern locked. But this ship does have a really good EM weapons. It does come with some ballistic weapons if you get into a dogfight. Great maneuverability, great speed. And it's just a fun ship to build and a this is the this is a cool pirate ship, guys. So uh, what I'll do is, is I'm going to switch over to the uh, ship builder real quick and show you all the components that you'll need to make the Scorpion Stalker. Yeah. All right, guys, we're back in the ship builder, and I've got the uh, Scorpion Stalker pulled apart into some modules so that we can go over some of the stuff that you're going to need to uh, build the ship. Uh, first things first, I'm using the Hope Tech Overseer 400 bridge. Um, any of the overhead cockpits will work here. I just happen to enjoy the uh, aesthetic of the uh, Hope Tech, kind of dark and red inside, so it was very pirate-like. Uh, the weapons that I do have equipped are EMP-1000 suppressors. I have three of them. Two of them are attached to the cockpit, and one is attached to some Hope Tech cowling over my gas tanks. And my gas tanks are the M20 Ulysses Helium-3 tanks right there. You don't have as much jump capability as you do with other ships, but this is a pirate ship, so we're not trying to jump across the galaxy. We're just trying to chase down ships that give us our booty. And of course, we have a Fusion DC-403 Class C reactor. On top of that, I have the Vanguard Bulwark Shield Generator. 
though any shield generator would work. I just happen to have this one and it's the best bang for your buck. Behind that, I have the NG340 Grav Drive from Nova Galactic. Uh, and then behind that, I am using two Stroud uh, Eklund engine mounts to mount the first of the SAL 6,830 6, engines, uh, of which I have three. There's a, another two off to the side along the port and starboard arms or claws in this particular case but uh, there's that and then of course I do have two of these SAE 5660 engines they are really nice engines with 24,300 thrust and some respectable maneuverability on either side the cargo holds that I'm currently using are the Galleon S204 cargo holds one to each side here and then beneath this I have the 10ST hauler shielded cargo hold, really nice cargo hold there. So the HABs that I am currently using are the Hope Tech cargo haul 2x2, two two, and then next to that I have the Hope Tech living quarters. And then in the front I have a companion way to give access to my uh, cockpit when the time comes. Uh, the Landing bay is the shipbed, uh, the Tayo shipbed 200 landing bay, and that connects to another companion way that connects to a companion way above that, so that you can have access to the HABs. In the uh, starboard and port arms or claws, uh, they're about an exact mirror of each other. I'm using two Hope Tech cross HABs to get over to what is a, in this case, a companion way here and then the companion way connects to the nova galactic armory which connects to a uh, hope tech hope tech hab spine which connects to the four docker so that you can dock through the claw you can put a docker here if that is what you want um, but it will lock you out of this particular hab but i found that if you turn this hab here into the computer uh the computer banks you don't need to have access to it and it still ups your crew count anyway but i sort of liked having the uh the docker to the front i thought that was kind of kind of cool so um what you'll do is you will connect this section here to the front portion of the living quarter tab and uh if you come over here this is pretty much a mirror of the of the starboard side uh, but instead of the uh, companion way being in the back, I have the hab in the back, which is where I have my control station. And then I have a, another companion way to the front so that it uh, has the same uh, amount of distance as the other side. But I am using a thruster over here just for, just for looks for Hope Tech, from Hope Tech. And of course, that connects just there like that. And then you have the overseer bridge that will go just like that and then i am using some nova galactic cowling here in the front uh, with some weapon mounts that have my obliterators on here you can put whatever weapons you want and then i've got some more hope tech decorative pieces and some nova galactic decorative pieces and tayo decorative pieces and then of course on the top we have the stroud cowling that goes just like that on either side And that is pretty much the build right there, guys. It is the Scorpion Stalker. It is my first real pirate ship build that I've done. I really enjoyed doing it, and I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching it or looking at it as well. If, uh, if you want to make this ship, I would happily like to see it. So thanks, guys, for coming. Make sure you like and subscribe, and have a good day.